one of the things that I like about this guy, he has a kind of a line of action that goes all the way from the top of his head down here to the bottom of his foot. This will unify this character. All right? Mm -hmm. That line of action is holding him together. Now, we also have variety because we've cut him in two there. We have some different shapes going on. You know, uh, there's the head. You know, there's some variety going on, but there's also some things that are unifying that drawing. But I love the way this guy is looking up here. Uh, his, his head's tilted. Okay, he's looking up this way. His shoulders are tilted a little bit. I would actually uh, try to accent the tilt here on his hips. We call this contraposto. Okay, if, if everything is straight in line, and the midline comes down. See, that's kind of that's kind of dull. That's not as appealing as if we, you know, rock the hips a little bit, and then the shoulders go. See how we get an S curve out of that? Yeah. And this is a very natural thing to do. Now, if you're a fashion model, you know how to really push this. They do it all the time. But even the normal person, without trying to, you know pose or anything like that, we'll oftentimes do this because we shift our weight. Sometimes we stand like this and we have our weight equally on both feet, all right? But after a little while, we get tired of that, so we shift our weight to one side, and that means that most of our weight is on this one, on this side, and then we relax the other foot. We can bend it back, stretch it out. We can do other things out here because the weight is here. But when we do that, that pushes our hip up a little bit, right? And since our spine is attached at our hips, that means our spine starts heading out at an angle. And if our spine just kept going up straight, we'd, we'd be kind of out of balance. So what? What we do is we naturally kind of curve that back so that the rib cage now is kind of coming back the other way. What happens overall is we, we stay in balance. So the hips are a little higher on this side. The shoulders are a little higher on this side. And then we, can, we will either level out our head or maybe even drop our head a little bit to that other side. That gives us this S curve, and it's a, it's appealing, and it's also very natural, and it also gives our our uh, our figure that we're drawing uh, a sense of weight and balance. When we draw them straight up and down in a rigid way, they they uh, don't have as much of a sense of weight. When we show that the weight is being born on this leg, then the, the person viewing the drawing can kind of get a sense for that weight. Mm 